<laughs> well, Landry Shamit coming off a season high 30 points. He made seven threes in their matchup on Sunday. There are times when Stan Van Gundy's team, five on the floor, you'd have three 20 year olds <laughs> and a 23 year old in Zion at times as Lawawu Cabrero finds himself wide open in the paint in some rarefied air, scoring the basketball at a high clip with. The field goal percentage added as Lawawa Cabrero's three goes on top of the backboard. Super team. You know how the narrative switched on those two, you know, the, uh, uh, of their, where they're at in their career. Something in Griffin that would fit perfectly with what they have. He does not have to carry that as he does so often, taps it to a teammate. This time, Najee Marshall. Marshall's been excellent for them, an undrafted player. And Counted and one for Najee Marshall. Runs into Jordan. Ingram gives it up. And now Marshall, a little sidestep. And blew a tire, but he's fouled. And that's a smart play by Zion because that quick attack, kind of in the secondary break, he was able to get to his left hand, get down the lane before the defense was set. But you know what, B.A., I'm going to go back to Stan to see in transition. Jim, don't want to get too deep into this fourth quarter before we recognize Stan Van Gundy and Steve Nash. We had a chance as Lawal Cabrero resonates with everyone around the country, especially the NBA, and as active as the NBA and WNBA has been. And those are the kind of effort plays that you need when you're talking about pursuing a championship. Luawu Cabarro at the Nets win the tip. Luawu Cabarro cashes in a three. Luawu Cabarro gets a step, but it's knocked away. I think Zion got a hand on that. Inside the restricted area to pick up that foul. So that's a Luawu Cabarro. Yeah, you know, as much as we bang, has been banged on the Pelicans about, you know, Kind of their defensive effort. They've actually gotten better 